Hello and good morning guys. Uh, today I want to share a short video, it's gonna be a short one today I promise, on how to build a sort of nice looking tunnel entrance like this um, using only one piece of road network and uh, two simple mods, or simple mods, two mods. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be using the node controller, um, original version, Kian Sarin's version, and intersection marking tool. And some move it, um, goes without saying, but this is a nice little trick I, I sort of figured out recently to detail up these ugly looking, the ugly looking vanilla um, tunnel entrances uh, and make them a bit more interesting. So, so I have showed you the result. Let's go over to the other side of this tunnel and see here. Here we have the raw one. Here is the vanilla one. Here's what we we'll need to fix. So um, what we need to find first is we need to find a road that can be used for this kind of thing. I really like to use the, the roads that come with the bridges and piers DLC. Uh, because we have this this nice arch shape by default. Um, don't remember if it's this one or you know what? I'm I'm probably used both at this point. But let's try it with this one just to get some variation. Um, if you don't have this DLC, you could get any sort of road, historic looking road with an arch shape on the workshop and do the same trick. So you don't you don't need to have a DLC for this. It's just what I'm gonna use here, um, or the content creator pack, I should say. It's a very good content creator pack, but it's um, I, I, there's a lot of interesting things you can do with it. So okay, I have aligned this road up with the with the train tracks now. Using move it will make it a bit smaller. You can see where this is going. It's very it's it's pretty obvious what we're gonna try to do but um, we do need to talk about some mods and this is like one of those uh, mods where one of those situations where you really want the old version of a node controller the original version I'll be sure to link that one uh, Kian Sarin's version I think it's 2.9 stable at this time because it lets you control the segment ends in ways that the node controller renewal just doesn't so I'm gonna select these segment ends here. You might have to press Alt to to have it select the segment ends, and just gonna do the direction length, holding down Control, and scrolling down once, and we'll set it to zero. Um, actually, if we have it to zero, we're gonna have this very flat, nice edge, but it's gonna cause some sort of texture fighting here. So we're actually gonna set it to like 0 0.05 instead. Um, just copy pasting this number or is it even less maybe maybe 0 0.01 even no you see we still get it basically the least the least number we can have while still getting it to still texture glitching a little bit Maybe it was five. Maybe it was five. Okay, like so. Maybe it's even more. Uh, let's try 0 0.1. That's too much though. And it got borked there, so I'm just gonna reset it. 0 0.1, 0 0.1 again. Hmm. Oh wait, we might have to do it on both sides actually before it's gonna be sort of we can see if it's gonna be successful or not. Hmm, interesting. We have run into a bit of an issue. Is there a difference between these two roads maybe how, how it works? Yeah, so this one definitely has less of a texture fighting. Let's just use this road instead. Uh, it's the one we used on the other side, so. It's, it's a minor issue, you wouldn't be able to see this anyway, but um, since I'm a big nerd, I I will uh, I will be annoyed if it's not so. 
we're gonna use this road. We just upgraded it to another type of road. Um, I may say that I have used um, network skins to remove the lights on this bridge. You could use Bob or, or other ways as well, but it's another like mod that's not necessarily necessary, but um, you might want to use it. Um, let's see if we can get this into some kind of good place now. I don't want it. I want, don't want the tunnel to clip the catenaries, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, a little bit wider, I feel like. Something like that could be done, but hmm, you see, we have a bit of a height difference here, and I, if we put it up here at the at the height of the tunnel entrance there to hide it, it's going to be very tall. We want it to be a very snug fit. We want it to be an old historic sort of tunnel with an arch. So what we're going to do is we're going to use node controller again on the segments and. We're gonna find this edge here, and we're gonna scroll the vertical number up a few times. Um, maybe two. I think two is gonna be enough. I think two is gonna be enough. And it's gonna be two there as well. Um, I'm also just. What if? What if we did it to zero point zero one? I feel like I can make it. A cleaner edge. 0 0.02 seems to be the number. Okay, as 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 low as we can go without without uh, getting the the texture glitching. Okay, that's good. So th this is already pretty good, but there's more stuff we can do. We can, for example, uh, select the node here and use the backward number here. Uh, you can see how it highlights the sort of edge of the segment we're selecting. And I'm gonna scroll it. Make like do minus one or maybe minus two. Ah, minus one is fine. And on the same the same on the other side. It creates a sort of a little bit of a tapering effect to the tunnel interest, which I think looks good. Um, you can see these guys here are the pillars. Actually, the pillars from the bridge. We can either like lower them or just delete them or do whatever we want with them, really. But we're not supposed to clip the train tracks. Um, so. And now we have a nice looking sort of base uh, for the tunnel entrance. We could try to hide the vanilla tunnel entrance completely, like trying to get it completely inside of this thing. But I kind of think that the transition looks interesting I, I kind of like it this way so we're gonna keep it uh, and now I'm gonna go in and use IMT uh, intersection marking tool and now you wonder like how how would you use intersection marking tool to create a tunnel entrance um, I mean to improve this tunnel entrance it's already created basically but we can go and select this road segment here the one we just created and we're gonna create two fillers Let's do one here on one side of the road, like that, and uh, let's make it a pavement. Something like so. Let's raise it up to the about, about the same height as the guardrails. Something like that, that's good. Um, perfect. And now we can actually drag these points here, offset to the points, because the road is stretched out. The road bridge is stretched out in, in this direction, right? We can um, stretch, offset these uh, these points here, closer to the the tunnel entrance. Minus five point ten. I'm just doing the numbers, see what what works, and then just setting the same number on the other side. This looks like some kind of interesting texture. It doesn't. You could also just hide it, but I feel like that this guardrail here looks better than the the texture of the, the concrete on the side. So. Uh, and now we are going to do another filler here on the other side. And we're going to create a ruined filler here. We're going to do it to this. We're going to set it to the same height, which I think was 1.5, 1.3, something like that. And 
see these points here this one we're not gonna stretch this point out a lot a lot in this direction here like maybe 20 what is this point here at minus 20 and and this filler here we're gonna set to have a curb size on medians like so you don't have to do it exactly like this, but it's a cool way to transition the tunnel into sort of the hillside. Um, and the transition doesn't really look great right now, but I, 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 I'm confident if we just smooth this out, we can get a bit of a better transition here. I think, I'm, I think the tools are just a little bit too powerful here. Slope is quite steep as well. Well, something like that. Um, there's not much more to it. I hopefully I've showed everything that goes into this. As I said, Node Controller, uh, the original version by Kian Sarin, is very nice to have here. You can do some. You can do similar stuff with the node controller renewal as well. But I highly recommend the original, the old, the old school way of doing it for for this these kind of this kind of stuff. You get more um, you get more options uh, still to this day, or at least I think so. <laughs> I might be completely wrong still, but um, yeah, it's a nice looking tunnel entrance. Only one network. We only use one network. That's the, the thing. And we can copy and paste this to anywhere we want the tunnel. We can copy and paste this in other places. We could uh, even copy and paste the IMT uh, setup as a preset. We can save save this IMT setting as a preset. It's it's really kind of nice. It's a yeah. I you know what I've talked a lot about how nice I think it is. Let's. Let's let you guys decide if you really think it's so nice. I think it's neat. Um, you guys can argue and uh, decide if you think it's neat as well. <laughs> uh, I just want to like touch on other things you could do with this. Uh, for example, I've done a bigger tunnel entrance here that is sort of for the highway, and I've used like I've used these pillars here on the side, as you can see. There's a little bit more complicated, but it's the same principle. Um, here I've also used a prop line to put these, um, actually I've put down these these props as well, but there's multiple prop lines here for the AC units um, on top and um, sort of the fans uh, at the entrance of the tunnel, because this is a road tunnel and you would have to sort of ventilate it um, uh, to avoid problems with, I guess, smoke and fumes and exhaust stuff <laughs> um, and it's pretty easy this is just a line so you would add this you would add another line by just dragging out like so and do a prop style of line as a prop and do like yeah, AC you can put AC unit and now we just have to find where we are and like put them into place like then shift them Shift the line, you can do the step differently, scale. You see, this is really powerful IMT, this this feature of IMT specifically. Um, see, now we have even more ventilation here for our tunnel. But we're not gonna keep that, but um, just a side note on that, and that is going to be it. There's I hope wait, how long is the video? How long? It's 14 minutes. Oh my! I was hoping for less than 10, but you know what? You can't have everything. It's good enough. It's good enough. It's fine. If you liked this video, please uh, consider liking and subscribing, and um, and we'll do more of this. Um, uh, it's been a while since I recorded a video. I want to keep doing that. I have so many ideas. Just been low on the motivation recently, but it, it's coming. It's coming, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, 
And yeah, thanks again, and uh, I'll see you next time.